Moving on, the CBI has booked 13 government officials from Puducherry, including an IS officer and heads of private medical colleges. This in connection with irregularities in admission to postgraduate medical courses in the state. The accused officials allegedly cheated students by giving them admission and then later withdrawing the admission. All right, this is uh, the news that we're getting to you. The CBI booking 13 government officials uh, from Puducherry. Uh, these officials also including an IS officer and heads of private medical colleges in connection with irregularities in admission to uh, postgraduate medical students. Uh, these officials used to give out admissions uh, to uh, students and then later withdraw uh, those admissions. Bhavtosh joining us over the phone line for more. Bhavtosh, what more do we know? What does the CBI FIR entail? So the CBI FIR uh, names uh, six government officials, including an IS official who is also uh, the chairman of Syntec, Dr. Narendra, uh, Narendra Kumar. And uh, they have also named uh, seven private medical colleges as being part of this scam. Uh, the CBI said that uh, students who are very deserving uh, they were given uh, counseling and given provisional uh, admission. But later on, they were told that they cannot get admission. And uh, then uh, students uh, who were undeserving were given admission by charging a very high fee. Now, the uh, CBI claimed that uh, the government officials colluded with private medical colleges bypassing all the norms that were set up by the Ministry of Health. In fact, Ministry of Health had come out with a specific guidelines that all admissions, be it in the undergraduate course or in the postgraduate course, course in medical colleges, uh, counseling has to be provided. But the Puducherry uh, government had set up SYNTAC, which was a central admission committee, comprising the uh, senior most bureaucrat in the, in the union territory and also officials from uh, the health department. Uh, what they did was that uh, students who had gained admission on basis of merit were denied admission during the, uh, during the counseling. And then showing uh, showing uh, that there, there exist uh, some uh, some seats, management quota seats were filled. Uh, the deserving students should have been given uh, of the CBI. As far as uh, this uh, this medical scam is concerned, the CBI has said that similar scam in other states, and uh, more arrests and more FIs are likely to follow in days to come. All right, what's the line of investigation that the CBI is picking up, Bhavtosh? Is this being looked as a larger uh, criminal conspiracy of uh, public servants in connection with private hospital officials as well who are abusing their official position and uh, cheating bona fide uh, students? Well, as far as uh, the medical scam is concerned, uh, CBI has been actively pursuing several cases. Uh, one case involves, uh, uh, in fact, arrest of a retired High Court uh, Justice of uh, Odisha who was uh, just been shown as arrested. Now, this scam involved uh, uh, a private medical college uh, which was based out of uh, UP, which was, in fact, the bar from taking students for two years, that is for 2017 and 2018. And later on, uh, uh, later on, uh, uh, this uh, this medical college had approached Apex Court, and uh, the retired High Court judge was working to uh, to make sure that uh, some favorable order is given to them. Uh, apart from this case, there is also a colonel who has been arrested by CBI. He was leaking some uh, confidential information. He was in fact uh, attached with the Medical Council of India, and he was passing some very important and confidential information to a group of medical colleges. So there have been crackdown by the government as far as the private medical institutes are concerned. We all know that they charge very high fees and they uh, they generally uh, don't uh, uh, admit students on basis of merit as they don't practice procedures of communist. Bhavtosh Singh, thanks for getting us those inputs on that story.